Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I'm so glad that you're here because today's video is going to be my youngest birthday gift guide or all the different um, gifts and little trinkets and treasures that my husband and I decided to get my seven-year-old daughter this year for her birthday. If you've never seen me before, I do gift guides throughout the whole entire year. I have gift guides not only just for birthdays, but I have them also for Christmas, Easter, Boo buckets, Valentine's Day, like I said, birthdays. I also do gift guides not only for the young ones and little ones in your life, but also for husbands and spouses and partners. I do ones for teachers and for friends and family in your life. If you need an idea for a gift, I probably have a guide for you. So definitely check out the little card link that I will have up for you above. And if you're looking for even more ideas in this kind of general age range, um, definitely check out the video I did in November for my nine-year-old's birthday. All of those gifts were a great success and she was very, very happy with them. So I can stand by all the ideas that I came up with that video. So definitely check that one out if you're looking for some more ideas apart from just these. Also coming up really, really soon is my, what I got for my kids for Easter, what's in their Easter basket gift guide. Um, I had so much fun shopping for them this year and I have so many different ideas. It took me a while to get started because I, I was trying to find a place to start, but I found a bunch of different stuff and I can't wait to share it with you. So keep an eye out because that's coming your way. But if you're looking for Easter ideas already, definitely check out my previous ones. I've been doing this particular video for years and years and years. And so um, look in that card and you're gonna find plenty of Easter basket ideas. But there are tons in this video alone um, that you could easily put in an Easter basket. So hopefully this can jog your memory or get your mind working to come up with some ideas. So we're just gonna get started. Like I said, this is for my youngest. Her name is Eleanor and she is turning seven. And she is the funniest, sweetest, most tender little heart I've ever met. I love her so much. She's been really, really into um, music and art and creating. She is super funny and loves to um, pr perform in the comfort of her own home. Um, she is into all of the bright and wild colors and sparkles and glitters and fun designs and funky um, just outfits and fun things. And so her birthday haul definitely reflects that. If you are looking for more kind of like soft and gentle and coquette and pinks and whites and cream definitely check out the uh, birthday gift guide like I said that I did for my nine-year-old because that is her vibe and aesthetic and personality through and through and more funky fun is for my youngest. It is trash day and recycle day so if you hear my min pen barking in the background I apologize he is well he thinks that he is the guard dog slash like main security officer for this house and he likes to bark and yell at everything so if you hear him I am super sorry but I have tried to quiet him down and it's just not working so he's just going to be yelling his little head off until he finally gives it up and it's like security threat taken care of <laughs> All right, so Eleanor is having a little birthday party with her friends. It's actually after her birthday because it's during spring break and all of her friends are gonna be out of town. So we're gonna throw a little birthday party for her with her besties after, uh, or at the end of spring break, I should say. And it is going to be Taylor Swift Eras themed. She's super, super excited. So I'm gonna share a couple of the things that I have for that, just to kind of, um, cause they're kind of gifty, but they're not really. Um, one of the things she's been asking to do for a number of years now is a pinata. And I found this pinata at Hobby Lobby this year. This was only $10.99. I felt like pinatas can get crazy expensive. And then you have to fill it with a bunch of candy. And it just, I knew that that was going to be a pricey little option. Um, but this one was like a perfect like size. And it was super, super cute and totally on theme. This is our little mirror ball for our Eras Tour um, disco ball. And it's just super cute. Like I said, this was at Hobby Lobby for $10.99. So um, we can fluff it up, but I just didn't want to bring out all the little strips yet until closer to her party. But this is one. She's no idea. She's going to be so excited to see a pinata. And I did find a pinata stick, which you don't need. You don't need. But it was only $2.50. So 
Um, it kind of gives some fun Eros vibes with the colors. So we're just rolling with it. So I did get a pinata and a pinata stick. And then I also picked up these. We're doing a bunch of different um, fun activities during her birthday. We're gonna do Eros themed makeovers. We're gonna do like a photo little booth and shoot. We're gonna do Manny Petties. We have a bunch of different things. But I also wanna do kind of like a fun craft because Eleanor, like I said, is really into creating art and crafts. Um, and so I found these at Ho uh, Hobby Lobby. They were all on sale. I wanna say 50% off, but I might have been wrong, maybe 40. I don't know. They're originally $12.99, but we got them for about half that. Um, and this is the Just My Style Sparkling Disco Decor. So you can create three different little um, figurine keychains and I felt like they're again they're mirror ball we're on theme but also I thought that they were cute and we could kind of go for different eras like fearless folklore and this is kind of like lover vibe so I just thought these were really cute and just they're just peel and stick and you just stick them on and create like little um, mirror ball keychains or little decor I just thought they were adorable I did get two sets um, so that all of her friends can do one um, so that is the party stuff. I'm waiting for the rest of the stuff to come in, but that's about the party stuff. And that, again, like I said, won't be for a number of weeks. So let's get into her presents. This is something that my oldest is giving her along with some stuff that she's created. She's made her own, like, designed her own little blind bags, and they're super cute. And so <laughs> she wants to give her those, and then she, uh, we're gonna give her this as well. Um, I, this normally is all cutely packaged, but it came like this because I ordered off of Amazon. So probably should just bought it in store, but I'll have a picture up. This is the real littles like little like gummy bear backpack um my kids love the real littles backpacks they ask for them they collect them they love the whole real littles line um and this has been on eleanor's like christmas list and birthday list for a while so um ollie is gonna gift this to her she also got a robe, a new robe and PJ set for my mom for her birthday. I will have like a little B-roll image of that. Um, she got it actually yesterday. Today is her actual birthday, but she got it yesterday because um, we did like a little birthday party with just family. We went bowling and played video games at, or like in the arcade and she had a blast. And she got um, this really cute little... I was supposed to say Shopkins, Squishmallow robe set and nightgown um, and this really cute little Barbie tee that's like um, cropped and it's adorable and so my mom gifted her those and she's been wanting a new robe for a long time because the last one she had was one that was like toddler sized and we ended up donating when we moved. She also has been wanting a pair of little house slippers because I have house shoes that I wear every single day all over. I am obsessed with my house slippers and house shoes and she's been wanting a pair of her own. So I found ones that are gonna keep her little feet cozy but during the rest of the year she's not like dying in like really big thick chunky slippers. I got these off of Amazon. They had a ton of different like colors and patterns but this just like fun rainbow bright just screamed Eleanor um, and they have like a nice rubbery sole bottom and so I feel like they're gonna last a while. They had really good reviews. They were really cute so she's gonna get a pair of these. And then this is something that I haven't decided if I'm going to gift her for Easter or for her birthday. If I gift it for Easter, I need to find an equivalent for my oldest. I just haven't found one that she would like yet. But Eleanor has been wanting this water bottle for a long time. This is from Walmart. It's from the Reduce line. It's this little mug. And my kids have no idea what like Stanley's are or like that culture or trend. The only thing that they have seen is my cute little simple modern cup that I'm obsessed with. Um, but during the summertime especially, I try to really, really keep them extra hydrated because it gets so gosh darn hot, hot here in Texas and so um, I thought this would be just such a fun cute like little summer cup that she can take out with her near the pool she can have all over um, because we put a lot of their like school water bottles away so we can try to keep them um, lasting for the next year and so this is just something that I feel fine with her having water or whatever drink she wants to drink in it it's something easy it's cute it makes her feel like like an adult I guess with her little her little faux Stanley. Again, she doesn't really know what Stanleys are. That's not like a thing that my kids know. Um, but this is still really cute. And she's been wanting this cup for a while because she loves the like <laughs> cowgirl disco vibe. She's like all about that. So again, I got this at Target. I think this, or Walmart, this was like under, I want to say it was like $13. Um, so I'm trying to find one that's equivalent for Ollie. Um, if I don't, this will be for her birthday. If I do, then we'll save it. Uh, the next thing I got her was a pack of acrylic paint markers. She's been really wanting Posca, Posca markers. I don't know how to save the brand. I know that they're like more of the high-end paint markers. My oldest got a pack for her birthday from her best friend. 
and they use them every single day and I went to go buy a pack and realized how much they cost and I just wanted to kind of we'll see we'll see how she does with these <laughs> this for just a small amount of you got for those you've got like equivalent um, price if not much less for these and you got 24 and so we're gonna try them they come with like a little rounded tip as well as like a sharpened more fine point tip um, these had really good reviews we're gonna see how it goes and if she ends up really really liking them and using them a lot then we can invest more in the higher end markers but um, I just thought these were a nice little set and she asked for some and then she really wanted like an all about me book, things that she can fill out that have like questionnaires and stuff. These were like my jam when I was a little kid. I wish they made more of these. I feel like these were really, really popular at like the scholastic book fairs and stuff like that. I don't ever really see these type of interactive journals or activity books anymore. And it makes me so sad because they were my thing when I was their age. And so I did find this one off of Amazon. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I it's my fault. I probably should have looked more into it because it's actually like a daily journal plus like quizzes I thought it was quizzes alone um, but so you will have a quiz like a would you rather quiz on one side and then this side you're supposed to write like the date how you're feeling and three things about the day but that's okay because we do like peaks every day and so we talk about like three good things that we were thankful for things that we really enjoyed about the day and we do pits and we talk about something that was kind of tough and hard that we wanted to share um, and so I thought this was a good idea for her to like be able to write those down to help like um, start a journal for her this is is essentially kind of like an easier journal for her age group rather than like a dear diary kind of thing which I loved when I was a kid but this is perfect for her age range this was really inexpensive but they have like fun cute little question errors and quizzes throughout it but it's mostly like a daily like journal and check in with yourself um, I got this off of Amazon and then this is uh, Fashion Angels 1000 Fashion Stickers. We have done the Fashion Angels like big sticker books. They are so great. They're really inexpensive. Again, this was off Amazon, but I wanna say you can also get it at like Walmart and Target. Um, they have a ton of different options and like fashion and like animals and cute things and all that sort of stuff. But they have just like a ton of like stickers in here that they can decorate and use for various things if you don't know my kids are obsessed obsessed with stickers okay like it's one of their favorite things that they own and we're always adding to their collections and looking to make like little friendship bracelets on the last page i thought that was so cute um this one did come fully completely bent so i already ordered a um duplicate and i'm going to take this back um, and return it that's the only thing i hate about buying like books and stuff off amazon is so often they come completely like bent and messed up um but i still would recommend this book i think it's super cute and if you have a, a little a little one in your life who also really likes like stickers this is a great line for them all right this next thing is something she asked for because we gifted it to um a friend for their birthday and she was dying and wanted one herself this is this care bears um backpack she really wanted a little mini backpack and then um had seen this that we gifted and was obsessed it comes with these really adorable little like rainbow straps they're so cute it is so much larger than i remember this thing's massive um this is quite a backpack like this is a good old chunky boy but it's absolutely adorable it's really nice quality um she is going to be just so excited and elated i just had in my head she was like i want a mini backpack this is absolutely not mini in comparison to her it's not even really mini for me as an adult but it's still absolutely adorable and i know she'll be excited so this is a gift that she asked for that we got and to kind of go along with it i got she loves keychains like the kid is a keychain like a little fiend and so i found this really cute like little um it's just happy little beady this is if this is eleanor right here this is her like vibe smiley face colorful stars just happy so i found this cute little keychain and we're just gonna clip that onto the backpack those are perfect those size keychains and items are just perfect for little easter egg fillers also by the way um and it's something that we do regularly <laughs> is find keychains for easter eggs because i don't like filling easter eggs for easter egg hunts with just a bunch of candy all right, the next item I got is something that I think she's really gonna like, but has no idea that it's happening, is this little lighted makeup mirror. Um, I got this off of Amazon. You can get them like everywhere. Um, but she, they have a, the girl share a vanity in their bedroom um, and they have a mirror kind of hung on the wall. It's a desk, but it's a mirror hung on the wall in front of it. Um, but when she sits down at the vanity, she's just 
still too short and so she can't see in the mirror and so when she wants to do her makeup looks or face paint or anything like that she can't see herself so she has to stand and get close to it and she really hates that and so I found this little mirror that's not just decorative it's actual function actually functional and I think she's gonna be really excited to be able to finally like sit down and do her make makeup and have like um little lighted mirror and feel fancy like mommy has and so I got her one of those and then I did buy her just like a couple of little makeup items like a little Care Bears, um, a little fun colored eyeliner, um, this really cute little like bear lip gloss and lip tint, this little fun um, cheek flush, just little things makeup is just for fun for them to be able to kind of create and explore and try new things out and so she loves getting makeup and um nothing too fancy nothing too expensive just something fun for her to try out so the next thing is another gift that she had asked for and it is the my life movie theater playset this is from the my life room which is exclusively sold at walmart neither of my girls play with like the um, 18 inch american our generation my life size dolls however they love all the little accessories because they use their beanie boos and plushies to play with them i feel like they play with their stuffed animals more than any other toy that they have and they love to pretend that they're going to school and going out and like having fun and like cooking and, and the kitchen at home and like all sorts of stuff and so she saw this at walmart and just thought it was like the coolest thing ever and put it on her birthday list right away um it's so cute this thing was like 21 dollars or something and it comes with a little like pop popcorn maker little slushies pizza a little cash register 3d glasses um like all of these different little movie treats it's so cute i love it i think she's gonna be so excited um to have it as well and both of them to be able to play together so i really like the my life brand at walmart they have some really good stuff for such a good price the our generation line um is it our generation i keep saying that my generation general I don't know. I think it's our generation. Line at Target is also really good as well. The next couple of things I just thought would be super fun for her. Um, and the first thing is this All About You Dream Journal. Both of my girls have been really, really, really into journaling ever since I started my reading journal this year. And they have loved to just sit down with me while I work on mine and they work on theirs. And this one I just thought was so cute. I got this off of Amazon um, and it just comes with a bunch of different stickers and like little frames and stationary items to be able to create like a scrapbook or a journal. And this was inexpensive, super cute. It had really good ratings and reviews there's a bunch of different ones you can find on Amazon of all different kits I know this is something that my oldest is gonna want one of not necessarily the same like style and aesthetic but the same type of concept it comes with like little bookmarks and all sorts of things I think she's gonna be really really excited this is like the perfect like little tween girl gift I feel like um, and uh, this again wasn't very expensive but it's something that will be very much loved all right, the next thing I got her to kind of go along with that dream journal set is this DIY instant digital camera. And this is actually like a supposed to be like a little kid's version dupe of the Instasax camera. Um, and so it prints your images. They all are in like little black and white little, well, you know, like almost like receipt paper style um, images and prints. Nothing too fancy, but it's meant for little kids and it has video capture, photo capture, and I do believe you can play like games and stuff on it. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got the purple one, um, but you can get a these all over Amazon um, but I thought it would be super cute for her to be able to take pictures and she hangs out with her friends um, and with her sister or with family and then she can take the little frames that come in this little journal and be able to create her own little um, scrapbook and journal as she sees fit or give the pictures away um, I also think this is something that my oldest will want as well uh, she originally had asked for one like this for Christmas and then was like no never mind I don't want it anymore but I think that when she like sees her sister playing with it she's really gonna want one herself um, but again Again, I feel like this is such a good like little gift option for a little girl or boy or a little one in your life who really enjoys this type of stuff. All right, we're coming up on the end of this video. This is the second to last gift that I we are giving Eleanor. And this is a really nice large jewelry box. The girls have shared a very small little like little kids jewelry box for a long time now. Um, my mom gave it to Olive when she was like four, maybe a little younger. Um, so they have been in desperate need for a new jewelry box for a long time. But Eleanor is someone who is my accessory queen. She loves necklaces and bracelets and earrings and 
rings and anything you can accessorize with, Eleanor is there for it. Um, but she likes to have her own stuff in her own space and she likes it really organized and neat and knows exactly where it is. Whereas my oldest is just carefree and will throw things wherever they are and has no idea where anything is. And so um, with that, I knew that Eleanor was starting to get a little frustrated with her sister <laughs> with her accessories and so she's been kind of storing things in this little like supply box or a little uh, like pencil case that she has but it's just way too full for her collection and so I've been on the hunt for a really nice jewelry box for her for a while. So I found this one on Amazon and I'm really really happy with it. There are a ton of drawers with a lot of drawer space. They come with different dividers that you can change however you see fit. Um, so she will be able to easily store all of her collection without a problem. And then it also has this top space which she can put everything under this little lock and key right here um, but like I said these dividers do come out so you can like change how you want to organize them it was really beautiful nice mirror um, and the sides also open up as well so they unbuckle or unsnap and that's where she can hang all of her necklaces so this is I just think it's such a nice very large jewelry case. It does come in a bunch of different colors, but I picked this one up for her. And then I also bought this little E. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. It's just an iron on sticker. I'm probably just going to glue it. Um, but there, it is like an adhesive back as well. But I'm going to just put it at the top to, oops, I'm going to put it at the top um, of her jewelry box. She's been very into like monogramming and just like feeling like it's her own rather than just having to share with her sister. And so I think this will be like the extra special touch to make it feel like it's personalized specifically to her. Um, and so I should have actually gotten her full name or at least Ellie. Um, but I thought at the time like, oh no, that'll be too big. But now I'm regretting that I didn't get that. But that's okay. Easy enough. Um, and then to go inside of it, I'm just going to place a couple of these um, little jewelry things that I picked up from... A target um, like I said she has been very big into monogramming and been really really wanting a little um, monogrammed E necklace she's been wanting this particular set for a while now so I got this at Target uh, from the art class section this was eight dollars it comes with three different necklaces um, I picked up this cat and jack bracelet set from uh, Target this was six dollars um, this art class six pair earring set that was super cute for six dollars has just all these different earrings. Um, some of them are like fuzzy and velvety. Some of them like acrylic. We've got some gold little options here. Then I picked up this three pack necklace set. I just thought this was so Eleanor with like the checkered and the smiley face um, and a little cherry necklace. This was just so, so cute. And then I also picked up this set of hair clips. She probably, I mean, she's not gonna put them in here, but it's just an accessory to go along with it. She loves hair accessories just as much as she loves her jewelry um and this is just screams eleanor so these were for six dollars from target as well and then when i was at a hobby lobby buying that little letter um i did find this in their like summer decor section and their little inflatable unicorn earrings <laughs> And I just thought they were so cute. She loves like the novelty like niche um cute little like earrings like this um, and jewelry that's just like hamburgers or french fries or milkshakes like she just it's so her personality so I think she's really gonna like all of that and then the last item is something that's way too big for me to show on camera but we are also gifting her her own keyboard we have a piano here um, and it was my mom's piano growing up but it desperately needs to be tuned so we need to hire someone to come out and tune it but um, she's been wanting to learn and take piano lessons for a while now. And so we have decided to enroll her into piano lessons, but also um, buy her her own keyboard to start with. It is 61 keys. It's not as many as the piano, obviously, but it's a good place to start. It comes with a bunch of different accessories, like little um, stickers to put on the keys that tell you all the different notes. It has its own uh, headphones, so she can plug it in so she's not Beethoven. Beethovening all around which is what tends to happen with the piano downstairs um, but she is just obsessed with playing the piano and she has been able to make some 
incredibly beautiful melodies um, and she has been also trying to um, memorize and recreate without even knowing the notes uh, technically of the songs that she hears and listens to to be able to play them on the piano for herself as well and so I think this will be something that she's really 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 going to love and enjoy and uh, something that she can utilize. We have been doing like sports and stuff with the girls for a really long time um, but Eleanor's not really much of the sports lady. She she enjoys it, it's fun for her but she's very much a musician at heart and I think that's just been something that she has like designed to want to do instead so we're switching from sports and we're focusing more on like music um, and piano and for her to be able to kind of gain um, just some knowledge and stuff and that to see if it's something that she wants to pursue at a higher level so that's kind of where we're at um, and I can't wait to gift her that I think she's going to be so so excited for it so that is her bigger gift um, but we always like to include like some sort of educational item um, or hobby item in the girls gift guides in their birthday videos like for Ollie one year when she was very very into gymnastics we gave her a bunch of gymnastic equipments and leotards and stuff like that um, I think it's just something that's really important for us to really encourage them and support their hobbies and interests and help them grow um, in those and so that is her bigger gift but also one that's more of like the educational hobby side um, and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that I gave you some really good ideas to go off of I feel like like I said these can go for just a lot of different age ranges a lot of different times of the year some that will fit perfectly in Easter baskets some things that would be great for Christmas and other occasions um, in your life or your little one's life um, I will like I said always try to have everything linked below but there are some items like these little summer earrings that I probably won't be able to find the like online link for and stuff like that um, but hopefully everything else will be easily linked for you and um, shoppable for you uh, thank you guys so much for watching like I said don't forget to keep an eye out for my Easter basket gift guide video I'm so excited to share that one with you guys this year um, as well as some other stuff coming your way I'm working with some awesome brands and I'm really excited to share those videos with you and um, we have stuff we have stuff in the works with our stuff brewing and coming your way. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button below and just joined your little family. Thank you so much for those of you who've just been so patient and wonderful and such great, awesome supporters and subscribers. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I truly, truly am. And I hope that you know that. I wish that I could give you guys like a really big hug. Um, but I'm so thankful for your love and support and just for being here um, year after year, video after video. And uh, with that, I will leave you and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.